What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans, and college football fans everywhere? This is the Big Troll Network. I'm Tizel83, and I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you would, at the end, like, comment, share the content that you're watching, however, wherever, on social media, Facebook, Twitter, that would be excellent. And, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button down below, wherever it is. Feel free to hit it. We're talking about Arkansas on the road to take on the Mizzou Tigers. What is this? Oh, my. The, the ESPN's FBI, the football power index, must be broke. They're actually favoring Arkansas to win this week, 57.4% to Mizzou's 42.6%. How can this be? No, this has got to be a lie. I, I don't know about all that. I, I think this is going to be one of those weeks where it's going to be similar to last week. I, I, don't, I don't know that I see either team scoring below 30 points uh, and all that fancy stuff. Let's get into stats really fast. Let's go with Mizzou's first. See what they're what what they've got. Uh, Locke, their quarterback, is 228 out of 408 pass attempts, 3100 yards, 22 touchdowns, 10 picks. At times, I've watched him. At times, he could be he could be dangerous. He could be very dangerous. This offense could be very dangerous at times. And then there's been other times when defenses have just figured them out and shut them down. But for the most part. Mizzou's got a pretty capable offense. They can move the ball. In, I think they can move the ball in just about anybody in the country. I really do think that. Um, defensively is another story. What, they, what they're what they unable to do on defense is something special. Crockett, we know they're running back. The uh, Little Rock native had a chip on his shoulder because Arkansas didn't give him an offer. From every source that I've heard, he wanted to be a Razorback. Obviously, the Razorbacks never gave him an offer. He wound up at Mizzou, and now look at him. He's a 1,000-yard rusher. 153 yard, 153 carries on th- uh, with a thousand yards, 10 rushing touchdowns. He's suspended. He got caught smoking the wacky tobacco Sunday. I think it was Sunday morning. So he's going to be suspended for this game, which is too bad. So he's going to end his freshman year, which is a good year, right? Thousand yards, 10 touchdowns. That's awesome. Jamon Moore is their leading receiver, 56 catches, 877 yards, eight touchdowns. For Arkansas, Austin Allen, who I think is as far as a pure passing quarterback, is the best quarterback in the SEC. Could have himself a big game again today. 203 completions out of 331 attempts, 2,800 yards, 22 touchdowns, 10 picks. I mean, uh, you take away one bad game from Austin Allen, he's he's already over 3,000 yards. Uh, on the ground for the Razorbacks, we know they have... They've got two or three options on the ground, but Raleigh Williams is the leading rusher, 208 carries, 1,209 yards, 11 touchdowns. I look for him to have a big game. Drew Morgan, the leading receiver for the Razorbacks, 55 catches, 610 yards, three uh, receptions for touchdowns. Statistically, I'm not going to go over every single stat. They're similar in offense. They both score about 31 points a game. They both move the ball in various ways. Uh, Mizzou's ground game. So we're not going to see Crockett. We're going to see another running back. Uh, don't have his name pulled up. Ish, ish something. I'm sorry, I don't have it pulled up. My bad. Uh, I'll see if I can pull it up here in a second. But they, um, they're going to be able to do quite a bit. I think they're going to be able to throw and, and run with success. Uh, Arkansas secondary got kind of exposed last week against Mississippi State. They actually they finally gave up what I would call a bad game. Now, how much of that is because? You know, the defensive play call. It looked like the plan was let's try and slow down the run. So how much of that were, were these corners and safeties buying into the run, selling out to stop the run? You know, and not and let's not forget, they made a couple really good plays. Pulley had a couple of moments, you know, uh, where he just looked like a shutdown corner. Collins gave something up deep, but then turned around, and that would be the only big play that he gave up. I still think the secondary is the most improved part of this entire defense, but they're going to get tested today. On the ground, obviously, even with a backup running back, anybody is capable. I wouldn't be surprised to see Locke run around on this defense. They they they're going to struggle today. I think. I got. I'm sorry. I'm being. I'm rushing this video because we're about to leave to to have our Thanksgiving dinner. So I'm trying to wrap this up quick. Defensively, they are as bad, if not worse, than Arkansas. They give up more uh, rushing yards, believe it or not, more passing yards. They are not a good defense. This could be a different. This is. This is going to be a weird week for them because not only are they missing their star running back, their defensive line coach, rumors are, I don't know if this is true or not, so don't don't quote this, don't, don't quote me. This you know, uh, Rumor is he got into an altercation with a player. I, I don't know what happened. I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know what I think happened for him to lose his job. 
but something happened. He um, he's fired. So there's going to be a different set of motivation for these guys. There's going to be you know how much are are, are these things that ha- that have happened with the running back with the uh, Crockett being suspended with the defensive line coach getting fired. Not to mention the uh, schools under investigation for academic fraud. How much of that is a distraction versus motivation? That's going to be the the uh, the true. Uh, question, you know, are they going to come into this just with a big chip on their shoulder, wanting to prove that they belong in the SEC? You know, they got three wins. You know, they're, they're, nothing is more dangerous than an animal backed into a corner. So that's something Arkansas is going to have to look out for. But I think Arkansas wins this game. I think they win it with ease. I, I won't say ease. I think they'll pull away in the fourth quarter. It might be close up until the fourth quarter, but I think they pull away. It's going to be a high-scoring game. I'm not going to give a score, but I think it's going to be a high-scoring game with Arkansas winning. Let's see what the coin says. Okay, magical coin. Heads, Razorbacks, tails is Mizzou. I mean, come on, right? I mean, we feel like this should be a no-brainer, but let's see what the coin says. And if he's right, let's say if he picks tails and Arkansas loses, then we're going to ask, is this coin just cursed? Let's flip the coin. Oh. Oh, look at that. It's going to be heads. Heads. I don't want to. Can you see it? The coin seems to agree. Arkansas should win this week. So, all right. That's going to be it. You guys, I uh, hope you had a really good Thanksgiving. We're having our Thanksgiving dinner a day late, but uh, I'm really excited. So, you guys chow down on leftovers. Enjoy the game. And uh, we're going to. Focus in on basketball. Basketball and football recruiting is next, and obviously we're going to talk about bowl game matchups and all that. I'm really excited. This is a fun part of the year. So you guys try like hell to be kind of one another. Until the next video, peace.